Hi. Do you ever wonder about your safety as a solo traveler? Well, I did quite a bit, um, but I don't anymore. Hi, Alfie. You want to join me? Um, I've actually developed uh, a couple of things that I do intuitively, and they make me feel safe while I'm traveling. Um, I'm going to share them with you. So the first thing is to be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, fine-tune your street smarts. You don't have to be overly crazy about it and get paranoid. Um, you just have to be cognizant of glancing around and just knowing who's around, where you are, how you feel about the situation. Um, that leads me to the most important thing to remember, and that is to trust your gut. Um, we have an instinct, and we have it for a reason. If you are in a position where you don't feel comfortable, um, you're getting that creepy feeling, just leave. End of story. Um, I've heard from too many people good and bad stories, and they all boil down to, if only I had listened to that little voice in my gut. So. Don't worry about offending people. Don't worry about looking silly. Just remove yourself from whatever situation is making you feel uncomfortable. The third thing that I like to do is to know where I am, basically, and I'm talking about the location. When I'm traveling, I tend to let friends and family that are not with me know more or less where I am. And one of the most important things that I learned is if I am at a campsite, um, or just really if I've stopped for the night, I have a little board in the camper that I, it's a little dry erase board. I write down exactly where I am on that board. If I'm in a campsite, I'll write down the campsite name, the actual number of the site that I am in, and any sort of um, emergency contact information that they gave me when I checked in. I find that um, it gives me peace of mind. If for some reason I wake up with a start in the middle of the night from a dead sleep, it's gonna take me a minute or two to know and remember where I am. Um, if I have to call 911, I basically have a script on that dry erase board. I can tell them exactly where I am and it helps anybody on the other end get to me quickly to help me with whatever situation I'm in. Um, really good habit to get into. And one of the things I learned early on, um, one of the first campsites that I stopped at, and that is try to arrive before dark. Um, whether you're stopping at a campsite, you're going to BLM land, you're boondocking somewhere, um, it makes it easier if you can see your surroundings when you get there. Very helpful. The first time I stumbled in the dark and hit my toe on certain things, whacked my head, it was a mess. Um, one of the other things that I did do based on that experience is I purchased these uh, motion sensor solar panel lights. Um, there's a link to them at the bottom of this video. And I glued uh, some rare earth magnets to the back side of them. I travel with them on the dash, so they charge during the day. And when I get to my spot, I put them at random intervals um, on the outside of the vehicle. Um, and that's very helpful. If somebody's approaching it at night, those lights go off and I know that something's going on. So it buys me just a few minutes of alertness before I have to deal with whatever situation that is. Very handy. And, um, Something that a very wise person told me when I first started venturing out, and I've um, kept it in mind and I do it every time, um, and that is when you do stop to face your exit. We have such a great way of being able to slide open the slider door or the back door and be looking at whatever magnificent view that we are um, camping near, um, which is fabulous, and I do that all the time. But one of the things that I am also cognizant of is parking in a manner that allows me a fast exit. If for some reason something is going on and I do need to leave, I want it to be a straight shot. 
I point my nose to the fastest route out, and that's how I park. Very often, I can still get a nice view wherever I am, um, and it just makes me feel far more comfortable that I'm prepared. This one may sound pretty obvious, um, and it's something that I have always done, and that is to do with uh, your vehicle. I like to keep gas or petrol for some of you in my car, a lot of it at all times. So my tendency is when my gas level reaches halfway, I start looking around to fill her up. Um, I've had a couple of situations where I've been in no man's land and there has not been a gas station for miles. And um, on the rare occasion that I do carry a spare gas can and it's empty, it can be a little uh, daunting to know that you don't have any. Um, it's particularly important if you have the underhood generator because that uses your gas. Um, and I use that a lot in Florida for the aircon. So um, very important. Um, and that leads me to another thing, which is maintaining your vehicle. Um, apart from the obvious, which is oil changes, make sure there's water, um, take care of the actual engine and do what they say that you need to do. Um, it's also very important to check your tires. I check them before I venture out, before I leave, basically every single time. Um, it's important to keep the tire pressure, the recommended tire pressure, in the tires for optimal performance. It's also really important for safety. Um, and I travel with a tire inflator, um, which I've had to use on several occasions. Um, and it's great, it plugs into the cigarette lighter, the cord is long enough to reach the back tires, which is important. Um, it's also strong enough for these tires. Um, you have to be careful, some of the um, general tire inflators that you get for regular cars are not going to give you the PSI that you need for those back tires. Um, I believe, but don't quote me on it, that the front tires on Betty uh, PSI is 65 and the back tires are 80. I might have that backwards. I do that sometimes. Um, so maintenance, check your vehicle. Um, the other thing that's a good habit to get into is particularly important at night. Um, when I am camping and you know it's time to go to bed, I do a little walk around the vehicle and I pick up any little bits and pieces that are laying around. If I do have to leave, I don't really want to leave my stuff behind. Um, I also am cognizant when I'm actually vacating a campsite. Um, when I first started, I had a little cheat sheet, uh, what I should check before I leave. Um, I have not done this, thankfully, miraculously, um, but I do know some people have. They've plugged into shore power and the next morning when they went to leave, they just drove away shore power cord and all still dangling out of the vehicle. Um, it, I was told by somebody that it actually ripped a hole in the side of the vehicle. So be careful um, and check before you leave. When I am all packed up and ready to go and I think I am totally ready, I do one last walk around. Um, invariably the thing that I forget is the magnetic lights on the side of the vehicle. and. Um, Embarrassingly, I did travel one time 100 miles, and I have to say, thankfully, I had one light still attached, and it was still attached at the end. But that was horrifying to me because it could have caused a massive accident had it fallen off. So um, check, check, and check again. So this one's going to sound peculiar, and that's okay. Um, but what I'm going to tell you is enjoy your imaginary friend if you have one. If not, chat to your fur kid that you might be traveling with. Um, I talk to Alfie all the time, crazy I know, um, but I don't mind people hearing me. It gives the illusion that there might be somebody else with me in the vehicle and I'm okay with that. Um, little things that I do to facilitate that also are when I put camp chairs out, I put two out. Um, I know some people go to the extent of uh, and I think these are people that travel more permanently in their vehicles. Um, they'll have an old pair of uh, men's work boots that they put out with their sandals outside. Just giving the illusion that there's somebody else around. Um, not a bad thing to do. 
and um, that leads me to keeping something handy for self-defense. Um, I'm not going to have a conversation on specifics as to choices. It's a very subjective matter. Um, what I am going to recommend is whatever you decide to use, keep, do, um, have multiples of that item in random locations in the vehicle. Um, even something as simple as a whistle or a marine horn, um, something that's going to make lots of noise. If you have it in the back of the vehicle and you're in the front and somebody breaks through the back, um, they're between you and your item of choice. So it's really handy to have them. I have them scattered all over. Um, and thankfully, I've never had to use them and I hope never have to, um, but I know they're there and that's a good thing. Um, and lastly, the one thing, I say that quite a bit, don't I? Um, the other thing that I do is I keep a go kit. Um, and that might stem from living in Florida. Uh, we have hurricanes. Um, I have had to evacuate a couple of times. And I've just gotten into the habit of having a single bag that's a grab and go in case of an emergency. And I do the same thing in Betty. Um, I have a dry bag, it's handy. Um, and I have uh, medication for me and Alfie in there. A um, couple of pieces of clothing, uh, bottles of water. Um, I actually have another um, filtration uh, drinking system, um, my Grayley, which I love. And I'll link that on the bottom too. Um, that allows me to just use water from anywhere and, and be okay with that. Um, uh, let's see, I have a blanket in there and uh, a couple of emergency flares. I also keep um, copies of important documents and I keep a little cash. So anything that I might need when I'm away from the vehicle for a couple of days in some place that I'm unfamiliar with, um, grab and go, easy. I keep it under the bed, easy reach. Um, and that's it. So I hope some of these little tips were helpful for you. I'm sure there's plenty of things that you all have figured out that I haven't even considered. Um, I'd love to hear them. And um, go forth, have fun. Till next time. Um, 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 and um, till next time.